and the losers, and the independent who pushed Labour into fifth place. Perhaps one of the biggest surprises of the day went to Direct Democracy Ireland, a new political party whose candidates scooped a strong vote. Well, you will have seen Ben Gilroy in that report. Ben is with us this evening. You took everybody by surprise coming forth. Yeah. Tell us about um, Direct Democracy Ireland, your new party. Okay, we launched a new party just before Christmas time, and it's been going very well throughout the country. Um, there's a disconnect really from the people and a lot of the main parties now and that's what we find at the door. I mean there's an over 60% now turned out today. And it just feels what, what are you selling, Barry? What's the difference we're, about you? We're selling direct democracy. That was in our first constitution. And it's basically that the people should decide on major issues. So like if you want to bail out the banks, you ask the people. And the people feel disenfranchised and disconnected from the government. They haven't been consulted in one of the most probably the biggest issue to hit the country since the foundation of the state. So, I mean, I mean, the name direct democracy sounds quite left-wing. Is that where you would put yourself in no, the No, no, we're, we're neither left nor right. I mean, I, I believe we're very much centre. Um, it's, it's a very simple idea. You just basically, on major issues, you ask the people. It was in our first constitution. The people, you let the people decide. You want to bail out the banks? Let the people decide. You want to sell off our assets? Let the people decide. Mm -hmm. The people should have a say. Otherwise, it's not democracy or anything like it. And the people like that message on the door. When it comes to Europe, are you Eurosceptic? I know you've expressed support on your Twitter page for Nigel Farage and the UKIP party. So where do you stand on Europe? No, no the only thing I said about uh, Nigel Farage was that when he, when he put a video out about respect the Irish vote on the Lisbon, I actually enjoyed that video and I stand over that. I think that was a fabulous video. I mean, democracy, you know, when you ask the people and you go, wrong answer and go and ask them again, I mean, that's a, that's a little bit worrying. <laughs> I mean, you don't come up with the right answer, we're going to ask you again. That's a nonsense, you know. And you've also been associated with the free man movement. Are you linked no, to that? No, I mean, that's nonsense that you hear on, on, the, on the internet. I mean, I don't know where they get that from. But, but you've been involved in protecting people, as you see it, who yeah. are being evicted from their homes. And you talk about um, those who turn up to evict people as being somebody who calls himself a sheriff. Now that would come, that sort of language would come from the free man movement, wouldn't no, it? No, I didn't do that. So if you actually watch the video, there's none of that in it. That's what people say about me. I suppose people who oppose what I do. I never used any language like that. All I said was in that video that when the sheriff came, he said he was the sheriff, right? He wasn't the sheriff. He was the assistant sheriff. Because I have a problem when the sheriff is the registrar in the county deciding on somebody's house deciding they lose the house and then they step down and put on a sheriff's hat, the same person, and they go collect and make fees on that. There's no separation of power there. That's all I said. And that's, I still stand by that. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I suppose we're just trying to get a handle on, on who you are yeah, because you are such a, such a new party and yeah. you have done very well. And what happens now for Direct Democracy Ireland? Where do you take this? Well, we go back into our recruitment stage. I mean, we were in a recruitment stage before this by-election. This by-election probably became more of a hindrance than a help, but of course every cloud is a silver lining and that's where we are. I mean, it was a chance to get our name out there. But on the doors, of course, and from Donegal to Cork, Direct Democracy is growing and we have a number of constituency offices open. And it's going very well because the people like having a say in politics rather than being dictated to. Do you link yourself to any other of the, these new political movements that we have seen across Europe, Beth Grillo, for example? No, no, absolutely not. I've never been involved in any politics before, any free man movement, any of that nonsense. I actually think most of it's nonsense, to be honest. But people will just say not things Not nonsense enough, though, to run for election in, in, this, in this local... Yeah, not as a free man movement. I mean, I only heard recently of what a free man movement was. I mean, we are direct democracy. And, you know, people like that message of direct democracy. And most people are kind of surprised it was in our first constitution. And they like the idea of having a say on major issues. And is your aim to be a TD? Yes, obviously, I mean, that would be our aim. And to have a number of TDs in, in power till we try and basically get the people involved back in politics again. There's a huge disconnect. I mean, there was more than 60% didn't show up today. And it had nothing to do with the weather. Sorry, yesterday, nothing to do with the weather. I mean, it was actually a beautiful day. I drove around with speakers on top of the car trying to encourage people to come out and vote. Yeah. Direct democracy, though, can be a, a pretty brutal blood sport, if you like. I mean, holding people to account is fine. But if you're saying you do something that your constituents don't like, you're out. You get booted out pretty much immediately. Yeah, yes, it does have recall on it. But I think, you know... Like, if I was elected in Mead East and I come back to the people and there's an important bill to be maybe voted on in the House, 
You you put the pros and cons of that to the people of the Middle East. Is that feasible though to do that in, in it, most it, instances that it you is. go back and have I mean, local meetings? In the day of technology now, I mean, you know, you can send trillions of dollars online. I'm sure you can vote online, and I'm not talking about the voting machines or that fiasco. But I mean, we can send trillions of dollars online. I'm sure we can vote online quite easily. All right, Ben, you want to go back? Yeah, yeah just the the low turnout. I mean, the message on the door we were getting is there was you know, complete anger with all the parties out there. I mean, I knew beforehand that Labour were going to fail miserably. And I knew that it was a stronghold, but only the strong come out. I mean, that's the 30% turnout. The 60% plus are totally annoyed and slamming doors in their face, and nobody seems to be telling the truth or listening to them. The people have 50 euro at the end of a month when they pay their bills, and the revenue now are threatening them to take money that they don't have. There are the issues, and none of the parties are representing these people. That's well, what we've got those. No, we, well, are, you, are, you, are you telling people, by the way, not to pay the, the property tax? Is that My advice is that they, they shouldn't pay it, and most of them can't pay it, so it's not even a choice for them. Well, most, we, we did one estate, just let me tell you, we did one estate in Dunchaplin, and doors were slammed in our face, and you could clearly see those people inside where they didn't answer. And by the time we got out of that estate, we had seven calls back to the office to go back to the numbers on the doors because four of them thought we were from the established parties and three of them thought we were debt collectors. That's the real issue out there. Well, and so they didn't turning. talk about the hours okay. of voting. Mary, just, just to say, I mean, I think that anger is uh, very real. I have to say I didn't have any doors slammed in, in my face. It, you didn't problem, open? <laughs>